One of my biggest fears is dying. It's not the death itself that scares me. It's the thought that there will ever be a day that I won't be able to be there for my family. My kids and grandkids mean the world to me. The thought of them ever needing me or being in danger and me not being able to help them chills me to the bone. On March 6th of 2015, that's what happened to Jennifer Lynn Grosbeck. Lynn, as she preferred to be called, was visiting her father's home in Salem, Utah, when she decided to head home for the night. Lynn had been in a previous accident that left her with extensive serious injuries that left her back in constant pain. She had been taking several drugs, most of which were prescription when she decided to drive home that night with her baby. Her father didn't feel like she should have driven that night, and he tried to get her to allow him to drive her home, but Lynn refused, saying she would be fine. Unfortunately for her, that would not be the case. As she drove home, it's hard to say if she simply became impaired, or if she fell asleep at the wheel. What is known was that she missed the bridge leading across the Spanish Fork River, and somehow ended up overturned in the cold freezing water below. She died instantly or very shortly after the crash of blunt force trauma to her head, but her baby, 15-month-old Lily was in her car seat, hanging upside down just inches from the freezing water rushing below her. It mu must have been a very scary thing to have to endure for baby Lily. She couldn't have understood what had happened or what to do, but she did know that she was cold in the dark and probably freezing, and that her mother wasn't responding. Or was she... The following morning, some fishermen in the area spotted Lynn's red SUV in the river upside down. They called the regular police number at first from their cell phones thinking that someone had probably just stolen a car and dumped it, or that they had maybe crashed and just left it there. After closer inspection though, they noticed an arm hanging out of the driver's window. That is when they rushed and called 911. As the responders got to the bridge and spotted the car, this is when things started to become very strange. All four of the main responders heard a very clear, loud voice pleading we're here, we're in here. Please help get my baby. The car was upside down at that point, so the responders thought that whoever was driving the car and whose arm was hanging out of the window was still alive. One of the responders even said something to the effect of, we'll get you out, we're working as fast as we can to respond to the voice's pleads. They turned the car up on its side to make it easier to get the door open, and when they looked in at the driver's area where the arm was, it was very clear that Lynn had been deceased for probably the entire time that the car had been in the river. Her baby however was alive, but unconscious, and not breathing at the time of rescue. The responders did an amazing job of working together, and quickly, so that they could get baby Lily into the back of a warm ambulance, and began working to get her breathing again. It didn't take long. The baby probably became unconscious right about the time that the voices pleads for help came through to call out to her rescuers. They knew for a 100% fact that Lynn was deceased. The baby was not breathing and couldn't speak like that anyway, and after looking around the area, no one else was around, so who was the strange mystery voice that came from the car? Did Lynn's spirit stick around long enough to make sure her baby was rescued? Was she able to comfort the child through the night? Was the baby able to see her mother's spirit trying to calm or comfort her? Or was it an angel sent from heaven above? I don't think there's any way for anyone to know for 100% certain, but what I do know is this, it comforts me at least a little bit, knowing that maybe, just maybe when I die, that I may be able to comfort or help my loved ones if they ever need me. Sadly, Lynn's father Chad, who had tried to stop her driving that night three years earlier, passed away of a short illness in June of 2018. Hopefully, he's finally able to be with the daughter that he loved so much. Rest in peace, Lynn and Chad. Hope you liked today's story. As always, a like is very appreciated. A share is as well. Links to all our social media to follow is down below. Also, don't forget to pick up a really cool graveyard dance shirt or mask below in the description box. There's also a link to our shop on our Facebook page.
For stories like this and other strange, spooky and weird videos, please consider visiting graveyarddance.com. Till next time, thanks for watching.